That's my account officer. When he graduated, he told his family he hadn't done anything worthy of congratulations. That was before he went to the Access Bank School of Banking Excellence, where they test them again and again. Now you can congratulate me. Once you make it through the Access Bank School of Banking Excellence, you are indeed ready to play in the Ivy League of Banking. I believe that to be true, and that's why I trust Access Bank. Hello and welcome to Next News. The Eminent Elders Group, made up of former presidents, head of state, chief justices of Nigeria, ministers and permanent secretaries, yesterday joined the call for President Yair Adua to hand over power to Vice President Goodluck Jonathan. In their letter, the group told Mr. Yair Adua to formally issue the necessary communication that will enable the Vice President to be acting president in accordance with Section 145 of the 1999 Constitution as soon as possible. The group is led by Yakubu Gowon and Shehu Shagari, both former Nigerian leaders. Vice President Goodluck Jonathan yesterday in Abuja performed the presidential function of receiving letters of credence from four new ambassadors and high commissioners during separate ceremonies at the presidential villa in Abuja. Mr. Jonathan, however, said President Omar Yaradua will soon be back in the country but did not state the exact date Mr. Yaradua will return. This will be the first time in Nigeria history that the Vice President received the letters of credence. Six men are in the custody of the Drug Law Enforcement Agency for allegedly trafficking illicit drugs worth 23 million naira. The suspects were arrested at the Motola Mohammed International Airport on January 22nd when an official got a tip off that a syndicate imported 2.4 kilograms of heroin from Lahore, Pakistan. The suspects included the clearing and forwarding agent Andrew Omogui, 38, Monday Paul Ede, 38, aka Mulwe, Chidi Obaja, 33, and Masao Chubeze Udeze, 36. And in entertainment, James Cameron's avatar will put a seventh notch in his domestic bus office belt this weekend. The science station epic is likely to register more than $25 million through Monday. And that should be plenty to top the weekend charts, despite two potentially appealing wide openers set to hit theaters Friday. Finally, in sports, the Nigerian Football Federation on Thursday stated that for better performance of the Super Eagles in future international assignments, the team and its technical career needs to be overhauled. Two-time African champions, Nigeria, fell 1-0 to Ghana's Black Stars in the semi-final of the African Nations Cup Championship in Angola. Thank you for watching. For more details on these and other stories, please visit our website on www.234next.com. Have a good day. That's my account officer. When he graduated, he told his family he hadn't done anything worthy of congratulations. That was before he went to the Access Bank School of Banking Excellence, where they test them again and again. Now you can congratulate me. Once you make it through the Access Bank School of Banking Excellence, you are indeed ready to play in the Ivy League of Banking. I believe that to be true, and that's why I trust Access Bank.